All right, so in the last video, we did a bunch of rough edits and um, we brought some footage in, organized our footage in Premiere, made some rough cuts using the source panel so we know how to bring video only in or audio only in if we wanted to, um, how to do the insert versus overwrite um, commands with the source panel. And now we're gonna add some text and then maybe some transitions. So let's take a look at some, uh, just how to add a simple title to this video. Okay, so we're in Premiere. Now, there's a lot of different graphics that are built into the newer versions of, of Premiere that we're currently working on. But one thing we should look at is the title graphic. It's still there, it's just kind of hidden. So, so to find it, we're gonna go to File, New, and we're gonna come all the way down here to Legacy Title. Legacy meaning old, you know, it's kind of going away, but we're still gonna use it for now. So a Legacy Title. We're going to keep everything the same, and we're just going to give this a title. We're going to call this, um, well, what the heck, title. Done. All right. And it comes up with an empty piece like this. We're going to add just a still, a still frame title. And if I expand this out a little bit, there we go. You can see on the right, you've got transform, properties, your text, and all that. So let's add some text first. It's going to drag out a quick text box here. We're going to call this one um, San Fran. Art Mystery. Um, you know, I'm going to call this. Social artistry, why not? I don't know. Making this up as I go, there you go. And now down below you have different styles you can choose from, different font styles or presets. And you can always change these, um, or change these around if you'd like. I'm not a big fan of the Arial font, so let's find something different. Maybe something that might reflect what we're actually watching. That works. Okay. Um, that works for what we needed to do. Let's go ahead and make some changes to it. Let's scale it up. Let's find the font size. There we are. Font size. And then um, baseline shift. Oh, there's a paragraph up here at the top. See how it's left justified? Let's change that to center. And it looks looks pretty good. So grab our selection tool. And let's just kind of move it into place. All right. I'm making some changes because I didn't like that font. So you can play around with different fonts and things till you find something you like. That works fine. Whatever. Okay. Once you're done, just go ahead and close this out. Um, you think you wouldn't save it, but it's actually right here in our footage folder right title all I can do is drag that right up on top and you can see San Francisco social artistry just like that okay now I'm gonna take my right since I have my selection tool selected I'm gonna take grab the right edge of my title and just kind of bring it back like this okay so it just plays on and boom it's gone let's zoom in a little bit more now if I hit, if I select my video clip, the default transition is a cross dissolve. So if I hit Control D on my video clip, you can see it just fades in and fades out. Now I can actually grab, if I select the transition, I can grab that transition and shrink it down so it's not so, uh, not so long. So we can transition in, transition out. Uh, probably don't want that transition on the end, so I might delete it, right? Or I could bring this a little bit longer so that it kind of crosses in like that. That's not bad. So, yeah. And uh, maybe we'll add a transition here 
in our video to help sell that transition of the text. So let's go ahead and add some different transitions. Well, to find some transitions, we could do the same thing. If I select both of these clips and hit Control D, you can see it adds a transition here, which I'm going to select that one and delete it. But it also added a cross dissolve here, and I can grab that and shrink it down. And if I play it, that actually sells that transition pretty well. Right? There are some other transitions that are available too, so let's take a look at those. So we're going to go over to our effects panel, and if you don't see effects anywhere, go to window and look for effects and make sure you have that um, selected there. So we'll go effects panel, video transitions, and there's a whole bunch of different layouts. There's page peel, iris, slide, wipes. Go ahead and play around with these transition transitions and see what you like. Let's go ahead and add a couple in here. Okay. And then um, we'll move on to the next part. So now, by the end of this, at the end of this, we've been able to, we've created a simple transition, um, a couple different transitions in our video. We've also created a very basic title using the, the master title frame um, under file, new, new uh, legacy title. Okay. Um, in the next piece, we're going to add some music, learn to chop up the music, and then export this video out for completion. All right. We'll see you in class.